My name is Natasha Birrieta. I uh, am a graduate student at East Carolina University, working under Dr. Reed Corbett in the Department of Geological Sciences. I'm studying submerged aquatic vegetation in Kurtek Sound. I'm looking at the plants that are growing in the sound and seeing where they're growing, why they're growing, where they're growing, and trying to determine what is limiting the growth of those plants. Submerged aquatic vegetation is underwater vascular plants that are adapted to live underwater. They provide habitat for juvenile fish and crabs. Also, they're a source of food for waterfowl. They also help to stabilize sediments. Having submerged aquatic vegetation is essential to stabilize these sediments and prevent shoreline erosion. SAV has been declining in Currituck Sound for a long time, starting particularly in the 60s and 70s, there was a large decline. We think some of the reasons why that uh, happened is because uh, increased turbidity, the water clarity has declined in the sound, and as a result, there's been less growth of SAV, and that has also affected fishing and uh, crabbing in the area, as well as hunting. So I'm trying to identify the limiting factors of SAV growth. So we're looking at a variety of things. We're looking at the sediment type, the differences in light, how much light reaches the bottom or reaches these plants. We're also looking at some hydrodynamics. So we're looking at currents and waves and wind and trying to see how it all plays together. We've been collecting sediment samples to try to characterize the grain size of the sediments and also the organic content. We also uh, take depth measurements. We also take some water samples and collect some water quality measurements to determine what exactly is causing the turbidity, what factors are affecting that. All of the different analyses that we do in the lab, they help us understand the characteristics of the sound a little better to determine if there are differences and what they are and um, how that's affecting SAV. This project is important because submerged aquatic vegetation is essential for this habitat. And if we want to continue using Kuratek Sound, both commercially or recreationally, we need to protect it. Understanding how SAV has changed in the past and the modern drivers that are influencing its growth will allow us to better manage this critical habitat in the future.